Hey everybody, we are back again. You might recognize the same setup, but what I wanted to do is actually do a quick video and basically show you how to program uh, four sevens light with the, the new UI. Um, so again, if you're, if you're just joining us, uh, basically we're rolling out a new UI across uh, the entire four sevens product line. Basically has six different configurations and the way you enter the configuration menu is 10 quick presses or twists. Um, and that gets you into the menu and then you'll scroll through those and select the one you want. So I'm not going to talk about exact configurations because that's in the UI video. Uh, I'm just going to show you how to change. Um, okay, so I got a flashlight here. Uh, let's see what configuration we're in. Okay, so this is configuration four, which is basically three mode with moonlight, medium, high, and then burst mode that is accessible uh, at any time by two quick presses on the tail cap. So if you're in moonlight mode, press it twice rapidly, you can go to 100% output, uh, and then that has no memory, so you'll just go back to moonlight mode. Uh, so I typically use configuration four uh, let's change it to, let's say, configuration one, which is high only. So I'm going to do 10 quick presses, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I actually do find it beneficial to count out loud. Um, okay, so basically the light will blink now that it's in programming mode uh, the number of times of the configuration that you're in, and now it just timed out because I talked too long. So basically it was blinking four times, one, two, three, four, pause, and that lets me know that I'm in configuration four. Uh, to cycle to the next configuration, you just lift off the button and press it again. Keep in mind that I am pressing it, not clicking it. Uh, you're going to struggle if you're trying to click through real fast, that doesn't really work. So you basically do a momentary press on the tail cap and that's going to give you the fastest activation. Uh, all right, so I'm going to go back into programming mode and then can select configuration one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, so I pressed it 11 times. Three, four, five, six. And then it's going to go back to one. So you can see now that it's blinking one time because it's in configuration mode. I'm just going to let go. You leave it for five seconds, and then it's going to set that configuration. So now I should only be getting 100% output, no matter what I do to the button. Uh, yay, look at that. It works. So even if I go kind of quickly, uh, it's just going to stay on maximum. Because it is on maximum in burst, well, yeah, okay, it's on maximum. That means burst mode is not going to do anything because you're already at 100%. So if I press it twice, it's going to be the same output. Um, just for fun, let's try the strobe, uh, you know, because it's sort of party-like or something. Disco? Yeah. Anyway, uh, so I'm going to do 10 presses to get into configuration mode. Um, and then basically I wait to see what configuration I'm in based on the blinks. Sometimes if you press it 11 or 12 times, it's actually going to switch configuration. So I'm just going to wait and see which one it's in once I get into configuration. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay, so it's the one one. I'm going to lift and press. I'm getting two blinks now. I'm just going to let go. You wait roughly five seconds. That's going to set that to memory. Now I should get 100% output and party mode. Oh, that looks slow on the... Uh, huh, that's funny. It looks slow on the camera. Um, I guess probably because of the refresh rate in the camera, but it actually blinks quite fast. 20 hertz is quite speedy. Um, anyway, that's how you do it. If you have any questions, post them down in the comments and I can clarify anything that needs clarification. Uh, in any case, that's how you program 4.7's Lite. Thanks very much. We'll see you guys next time.